Hi friends, welcome back to Freedom Ranch Homestead. Today I'm very excited to show you what we have done with our reclaimed hardwood floors. So as most of you know, we installed our reclaimed hardwood floors last December, and we are absolutely loving the way that they look. We purchased them from Appalachian Woods here in Virginia and have been extremely pleased with the quality of the wood and, um, and just love the look of it. We did know that we needed to finish the wood off and make it nice and beautiful and long lasting. So I contacted our salesperson at Appalachian Woods and he suggested that we use Water Locks True Tone Tongue Oil. And so I went online and I ordered it and um, started applying it. We opted not to sand down our hardwood floors because we really liked the look of the roughness of the flooring. And um, and that was one of the reasons why I needed to apply the tongue oil by hand was just so that I could get the oil into all of the little nooks and crannies that were um, in the wood. They gave me an application sponge. That's what it looks like. <laughs> So it has already been completely torn to pieces because of the roughness of the wood. So this sucker is done with, and um, I will not order another one like that because it's obviously not gonna be used um, very well for this purpose. I have cut a small piece of a tile sponge, and so I'm gonna try that for applying the oil. And so obviously this is going to be a very painstaking process to go through the whole house but I am going to be doing it in sections so that it doesn't overwhelm me. Here it is, oiled up. I do wanna point out, we chose a lot of the darker colored wood for the room because we knew it would be covered by the carpet in the bed. So that's why this is just a lot of the black in here. But when you go out into the living area, you'll see that there's not as much of the dark pieces of wood. So we wanted to go a little bit lighter out here and that's why we kind of overloaded the uh, master bedroom with the dark pieces. After applying the tongue oil, I let it sit for about 48 hours, and then I came back with the tongue oil finish. And um, I applied the first coat of that, and after drawing for about every 10 minutes in each section, I had to go back with a clean cloth and kind of smear it in and get it really even looking. And then once I finished that first coat, I had to wait another 24 hours and then apply the second coat. And so now hopefully the wood is really protected from any future spills and will look beautiful for many, many years to come. The first coat is finished. I have to wait 24 hours for it to dry and then I'll apply the second coat. And then it takes about seven days to cure. So it looks really nice. So I'm gonna start making my way out into the living space and putting the oil on and uh, making a rule that nobody can walk in here unless they're wearing socks, which will be very interesting to see how many people actually follow that rule. <laughs> this portion of the flooring as far as the oil is concerned it looks awesome <laughs> and then once it is dried I am going to be moving everything here and once I finish the master bedroom I'll move the beds back in and then move all this stuff and then complete this portion then I'll go back over with the finish oil so but I like how it's turned out some really cool pieces of wood
It has been a few days since I put this coating down here on the hardwood floors and I have cleaned out the other section. And so this evening I will be putting the oil on this portion of the floor and then I need to wait a couple days and then I will put the top coat over everything. And then um, I also need to do the staircase, the landings and stuff, but I'm not gonna worry about those right now, but I have got a big job to do right now. So I am gonna get cracking at it and uh, get this floor finished. It is completed. I unfortunately ran out of oil, so I can't do the stairs. So I gotta order another quart. Looks good though, I really like it. It's gonna look even better when I get the finish on it. I still need to apply the finish coat to the living room area. I did not have an opportunity to do that recently because we got really busy tiling our bathroom floors so that we could get the cabinets installed and ready for the granite to be installed, which I'm very excited is gonna be happening today. I'm just waiting for them to arrive. And uh, so I will definitely show you how that all looks in the next video as far as the tile goes, the cabinets in the bathrooms, and the granite on top of all of the cabinets. So if you've been following along, you know that the upstairs loft, we are waiting to put in that um, reclaimed hardwood flooring until next year. We pretty much wanna try and finish as much as we can of the home while we're living in it, and then we'll come back, purchase the reclaimed hardwood flooring again, and put it upstairs in the loft. So in the meantime, we opted to paint the flooring because it's just the rough pine wood um, that they put in for the, the subfloor. So breeze room, if you saw another video, we painted it kind of a really deep greenish blue, kind of an ocean blue, and it looks absolutely beautiful. She loves how her room has turned out. Bree is about to see her floor for the first time. Whoa! <laughs> you like it? It's like the ocean. Isn't that cool? I, on it. I wanted a paint color that was somewhat in that same color family, but a little bit lighter. And so um, after putting kills all over the wood floor, I applied a blue color that was actually really light and it I just did not like the way that it looked at all. Um, I painted everything just so that I was certain that I could see it in full and it just did not turn out how I had hoped it would. Here is the finished flooring of the blue color and I have decided that I do not like it. So while my sister was here a few weeks ago, I bought another gallon of a different color paint, one that was very, very neutral, which is somewhat of the colors that I wanna go for throughout the whole cabin is a lot of neutrals. And so that is what we put down onto the floor. And I have to say that I really do like it and I'm going to enjoy having it for the next year until we put down our reclaimed hardwood floors. Here is the new color. So hopefully it will look a little bit better having some neutrals. And there's my sister Beth ready to roll it on. <laughs> Beth is rocking this. <laughs> Just look at the floor, it looks so much better. Oh my gosh. Yay, I'm really glad I changed it. That looks great, you did a great job trimming there, Beth. Thank you. Looks fabulous. So. One coat later and the next day, the flooring is done and I am definitely pleased with it. It looks a lot better. So now I can start filling in with my furniture. Yay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I promise a really good one coming out next as far as the tiling, cabinets, and countertops go. Things are moving along and we're like finally ready to possibly be moving in in the next few weeks. As soon as those countertops installed, the plumber can come and um, get everything set for us so that we will have a working toilet and working showers and all that good stuff. Although I still have to tile the showers in the master and breeze bathroom, but that will happen in the next couple weeks. And, um, and so anyways, once that happens, then we 
we can officially move in and have, um, have our home be our home and then just continue working on it from there. I did want to welcome all of our new followers. We're so, so excited to have you along for our journey. And I just want to say thank you to all of you who've been with us from the very beginning. We absolutely adore you and we appreciate you watching and commenting and just uh, being a part of our family. So we hope you all have a fabulous Easter weekend and take care and may God bless you richly. We will see you very soon. I just came home and found these guys in my pantry room. Chuck surprised us with some babies. <laughs> They're so cute.